Bev is in court to claim £370 for unpaid child support and the repair costs for a tablet which she says her former partner is responsible for. Defendant Paul denies being responsible for the tablet and says, as he's made regular payments for child support, he owes nothing. Do I have Bev here? Yes, George. And is it Paul? It is, George, yes. Now, Paul, let me ask you a question, because I think you can answer this very, very easily. Who is the most important person in your life? My, my daughter. I'd agree with you, <coughs> sir. Now, the truth of the matter was that you met 14 years ago. Yeah. And let me ask you, was it love at first sight, Bev? Did you look at Paul into his eyes and think, my goodness, my future is with you? No, Judge. What was it that you were attracted to? Nothing, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> well, that can't be entirely true. You must have had some common interests. I mean, as I understand it, Paul, uh, your interest is, is sci-fi, correct? It is, yeah. Understood. Star Trek and that sort of thing. That's right, yeah. Are you a Trekkie, Bev? No, more of a Jeremy Kyle fan. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect to you, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is this, Bev. You say that you didn't have much in common, but nevertheless, what did the two of you do, Paul? Got married. Got married? Did you propose to Bev? Uh, that's Wait. not quite right, Judge. Well, what happened? It was me that asked him. Did she ask you to marry? I, Several times. She, she did. I want to be serious for a second, because I'm a little bit surprised about your case. You tell me your application that you didn't like him, that you had nothing in common with him, <laughs> that as far as you were concerned, you had absolutely no shared interests, no shared values, <laughs> and you didn't find him in any meaningful way attractive, <laughs> nevertheless, you asked him to marry you. Yeah. Now, perhaps I'm missing something here, but why did you do that? Is, is he a millionaire or a billionaire, for example? Uh, well, I asked him to uh, get married, Judge, because we had a daughter. Understood. But other than that, there wasn't really much chemistry between the two of you. Not really, George, no. Well, there must have been a limited amount of chemistry for the two of you to have a daughter together. <laughs> yes? Yep. Agreed? Yeah, I love my daughter very much. That you certainly do, sir. That you certainly yeah. do. My daughter is my most important thing in my life. No one in this world is more important than my daughter. Shame you can't do a great deal for her then, isn't it? <laughs> What do you mean, madam? If I ask him to have a while, I uh, nicked it, shop, I can't be bothered. Is that true? I, uh, I have said that on the odd occasion, yes. Are you telling me, this is the first part of your case, madam, that Paul is a bad dad? That's what you say, effectively, right? Yes. You were together for seven years and then you split up. Why did you split up, Bev? Well, it got... In my opinion, he got over-friendly with another woman and said he liked her a lot. When you say over-friendly and liked her a lot, was he going round and playing rummy and monopoly and that sort of thing? What no. do you mean? His excuse was he was uh, tidying up a garden, George. Tidying up her garden? Yeah. <laughs> considering, he, uh, considering he came back home as clean as he went, he came back home and he wasn't covered in grass stains. No. <laughs> Paul, did you go round to another woman's house and interfere with her garden? <laughs> I, I, did, I did the garden for her and that's all I did. Well, according to Bev, that can't be true because when you came back, you had no signs of having completed a day's work at all. I just cut in the weeds back and the, or the um, thorn bushes and that's all I ever did. Well, whatever you were doing with her bush, what I should be clear about <laughs> is that you did not show any signs of having done a day's work. And that led Bev to be suspicious. 
Was her suspicion reasonable and fair? I've never done anything with her. Now, Bev, despite that, you weren't prepared to believe that, right? Yes, Judge. And so, consequently, the two of you broke up. You are, as it currently stands, not divorced. No, True? Judge. Why not? Because uh, Paul expects me to uh, pay for it so that he can, he can just not sign any papers. Would you agree to sign papers for divorce? There's not many assets in this case. Well, um, I would... It's, um, when... Um... If you, listen, can I just be clear, so I don't want people to judge you unfairly. You have a medical condition that makes I it very have, difficult yeah. to answer questions. I'm aware of that medical condition and I'm aware of how difficult it is for you, all right? Am I right that part of the reason you haven't agreed to a divorce with Bev is because it costs money to make the relevant application to court? Is that right? It did, it did cost, Th um, Thank you. That's it does it. cost money. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now. That's an order.